hello. Now, last time I went onto Ultimate Team and made a Yugoslavian squad. I saw a recommendation to make a Slavic team for the next video, and I thought that was a good idea, except I don't really want to do it on Ultimate Team again. It's kind of annoying to sort the chemistry out and all that. I want to get the best possible Slavic team we can. So I created one on the kickoff menu. We're going to be using CSK Moscow as our club, and I put them in the Champions League to see how they can do. I'm going to be simming most of the matches. If you make it to the semifinals or the final, I'll probably be playing those. But other than that, this is just simulations because we're mainly going to be focusing on the squad and just seeing how far they can go in the Champions League. I put them in a really tough group, Group D. Since uh, Sheriff is not in FIFA, I decided to replace them with the randomly generated team they put there. So we're in a group with Inter, Real Madrid, and Shakhtar. I obviously took a few decent Shakhtar players out of their squad, so they might not be as good as they normally are. Yeah, they're three and a half stars now instead of four. But yeah, looking at our stats, 85 attack, 83 midfield, and 83 defense. Very solid. Before I show you guys the squad I created for this video, let's take a look at our sponsor, OneFootball. OneFootball is an amazing app which keeps you up to date with all of the latest football news. Instead of having to Google search everything over and over again, everything is right there on the app, easy to access and view. For nearly every league, you can check out the schedule, the current standings, the latest news, and you can even select your favorite team you wish to receive extra notifications for. You can even check out the stats of every player in each competition, which can help you make changes to your fantasy team and all that. Guys, I highly recommend you get this app. It's free, easy to use. You might as well go check it out now. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, one more thing before I show you guys the squad. We gotta talk about what's classified as a Slavic country. A lot of times when I make videos like this, people get upset with how I classify their countries, such as my Balkan flag guessing video. I'm going strictly through Google right here. The 13 Slavic countries include Belarus, Bosnia, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czech Republic, Macedonia, Montenegro, Poland, Russia, Serbia, Slovakia, Slovenia, and Ukraine. Now out of those 13 countries, I have created this squad. Who else are we going to put up front other than Robert Lewandowski? There is no debating that. One of the best strikers in the world currently. At left mid, I've gone with Kostic. 84 rated in this game. In terms of our left midfielder options, he's actually our best one. Some clubs wanted him, but Frankfurt did not want to let this guy go. He's probably their best player right now. And then obviously we've got Luka Modric in the midfield. Milinkovic Savic joining him. And then in CDM, I put Suchek. Now in terms of ratings, that might not be the best option as we've also got Brozovic there. I had to include Suchek though to put in some diversity into the team and give him some credit as he's had an incredible season last year. If this were a real life club, I think he might deserve that starting 11 spot. Brozovic is obviously brilliant as well, but again, the diversity matters here. At right mid, I've gone for Vizca. He's got the pace in shooting. He's been pretty good in Turkey. I'll give it to him. He's also our only Bosnian player in the starting 11 as Lewandowski obviously takes Djoko's spot. Now for our right back, I've gone for Fernandez, the Russian player in the starting 11. He's definitely our best option there. We have some other solid backups, but 82 rated. Yeah, he deserves it by a long shot. And then at center back, I've gone for Savic. You're probably familiar with that in the Yugoslavia video, but yeah, 84 rated this FIFA, which is very good. Very solid center back for Atletico Madrid. This Montenegro player will hopefully do us wonders in these simulations. And then joining him is Skriniar from Slovakia. And he's the best center back we got. 86 rated. Incredible stats as well. 80 pace, 87 defending, and 84 physical. Who wouldn't want this center back on their team? And then for left back, I've gone for Zinchenko. He's one of Ukraine's best players, and he fits very well in this squad. And then for the goalkeeper, we've gone for the best option in the game. Jan Oblak, Slovenian beast, 91 rated. We have a lot of great options. Also, as you can see, Chesney is on the bench, but Oblak definitely deserves that starting 11 spot. This starting 11 is actually very diverse. And obviously, not every nation has made to the starting 11. We've got 10 of the 13 nations here there's one from each country i did duplicate serbia though i just realized if i wanted to make it more diverse i could put in mr barley instead of kostic but the ratings go down i'll throw him in there just for the sake of diversity but still very solid player and option but i will put kostic on the bench instead of oh that's a tough one probably hamshik yeah so now looking at the substitutes we've got chesney kostic to fall ilicic Malinovsky, Brozovic, and Dzeko. Also disclaimer, I didn't include any Belarus or Bulgarian players because their ratings are just not good. Also, Belarus only has like four players in this game. Their highest one being like 68 rated. 
But for these honorable mentions in the reserves, we got Handanovic, Tadic, Kovacic, Pjanic, Livakovic, Fabianski, Milik, Perisic, Kampo, Zielinski, Marlos, Akinfiv, Vlasic, Tizgankov, Versaliko, Hamšik, Šik, Jovic, Marušic, Golovin, Stepanenko, Matic, Pašalic, Kolarov, Orsic, Verbic, Zagoev, Ristovski. Okay, I didn't say I'd include a Bulgarian player, but I did. Uh, Malinov plays in Belgium currently. He's the highest rated Bulgarian player in the squad. But I didn't bother including anyone from Belarus. I'm sorry. So yeah, now that we included Barley in the starting 11, the only two countries that didn't make it are Belarus and Bulgaria. That was a long go over of the team. Let's see how they can do in the Champions League. First simulation should be easy against Shakhtar. What? 1-1 one, one draw. Why is Dzeko getting subbed on for Savic? What? Weird ass simulations. Hopefully we get some better results. That's not a good start. Real Madrid is going to be a lot tougher to get a win against. 1-1 one, one draw again. Lewandowski getting on the score sheet. All right. Thankfully, we haven't lost a match yet, but we still haven't won anything either. 2-1-1 one, one draws. Not that exciting from Slavic FC. Hopefully we get our first win against Inter Milan. Can we do it? They're in first, which is not the best sign. Hopefully we can end it there for them. 1-1 one, one draw again. What the hell? Come on. Make this interesting. These simulations, man. Sergei Milenkovic Savage gets on the score sheet. At least the goal scores are changing up every time. So after playing every team once, we sit at third right now with three points. We're playing Inter again. Please grab a win this time. Let's go. What a solid win. Five goals this time. Milenkovic Savage with the first. Vizca with the second. Lewandowski with the third. Vizca again. Vizca gets a hat trick. Incredible. All right. Bravo. This is a huge improvement. Now we are in second. Playing Shakhtar, who only have one point, please. Let's go. Two to one, a narrow win, but the job's done. Modric and Milenkovic Savic. Milenkovic Savic doing wonders for us. All right, looks like we're in safe fans to qualify for the next round. Nine points, so Real Madrid have 11. Can we snag that first place spot from them? Let's find out right now. We're actually improving our form here. Can we do it? Nope. One, one draw against Real Madrid. Okay, I'll take it. We still make it to the next round in second. We might have a tough opponent, though. We'll see how the simulations go. Borussia Dortmund, that's a tough opponent. But we got the best Slavs, so surely we'll win. Yes! Vizca, the hero, and Lewandowski making it a narrow win for our home one. Oh, yeah, away goals don't count anymore, so at least we're safe on that. Please, don't make a comeback, Dormant. Don't make a comeback. Yes, let's go. Sergei Milenkovic-Savic and Fernandez get on the score sheet. Villarreal, Piemonte Calcio, Chelsea, Bayern Munich, Besiktas, Barcelona, and Real Madrid join us. Wow. Imagine Barcelona knocking out PSG in the Champions League after Messi leaves. All right, so we're playing Bayern Munich next. We took Lewandowski from this squad. So hopefully their firepower isn't as strong. They're playing Chupo Moteng instead. Let's see if Lewandowski can do wonders against them. Boom. Okay, Chupa Moteng got on the score sheet as well. That's that's embarrassing. Can we make a comeback? We're two goals down. Just gotta believe. Believe. What? We did it! We freaking came back in the second leg. 4-0. Wow, amazing performance. Lewandowski in the first minute to make his statement. Then Sergei Milenkovic Savage in the 90th minute. So then the aggregate was 3 3. Lewandowski early on in extra time. And then Luka Modric. What a match. Let's go. Slavic FC making their statement against one of the best teams in the world. Yes, we took their best striker. Joining us in the semifinals are Chelsea, Villarreal, and Barcelona. How are Barcelona bossing it right now? But we have a tough opponent coming up. Chelsea can't let them get a Champions League repeat in these simulations. Let's do the job. Woo! Huge win. Lewandowski, Bardi, and Sergei Milinkovic-Savic. Let's go. Everyone making their contributions in this team. It's a very solid, well-rounded team. Now, all we have to do is not let Chelsea get a comeback here. Quick sim this. Come on. Oh, my God. No way has that happened, okay? They actually almost produced the comeback. They scored four goals against us. We had to go to extra time. And then Barty. Barty the hero. We almost left this guy out of the starting 11. And he's he saved us. He freaking saved us. Macedonian power. That's absolutely insane. I cannot believe it was that close. Congratulations to Slavic FC. We made it to the final. 
Who are we going to be playing? Barcelona. I don't think Barcelona could make it to the Champions League final this year. They look like they're struggling. A lot. I mean, they, we, we saw them lose to Benfica recently. Who knows by the time recording this. I don't know what will happen to them. A lot of people are banking on them being in the Europa League, though. Uh, in honor of making it to the final, though, I will actually play against them. So hopefully you guys enjoy this gameplay. Hopefully we can get a win. If we lose to Barcelona here, I mean, that would be bad. No offense to Barcelona, but it's kind of a gift to come up against them with how the team is right now. Their team's still solid, but... Look at that, they already messed up. Lewandowski, all he has to do is bury that. And he does! It's too easy! 1-0 in the ninth minute. I think we're winning this Champions League. Not even on a super easy difficulty. I don't know how the CPU messed up there. But I'm taking it. Blast that. Woo! Milankovic Savage still scoring. What a player, man. What a goal. Oh, Pedri. Oh, look at Oblak. Look at this guy. Best keeper in the world. Proving himself right there. What a save. Milankovic Savage. Look at Modric! Look at Modric! Oh, oh, let's go! Lucky rebound for Aiden Vizca. After Luka Modric produces some skill. I'm on world-class difficulty right now, okay? I'm surprised I'm whooping them. Half-time 3-0, jeez. Hoping for a bit more of an exciting game, but... Hey, I don't make the rules. Slavic FC is a solid team. Let's go, Skriniar! Right place, right time. And Lewandowski has the ball. Oh my gosh, defense. Almost non-existent, but he catches up and we still score! It's too easy with this striker, man. His shooting, everything goes in with him. Easy money, Drugovi. Wasn't that much of a challenge, honestly. I mean, when you look at the squad, they honestly look like Champions League contenders. Surprised we had to come up against Barcelona, like I said. Surprised we knocked out a team like PSG. Even though I won this final, I would have been surprised if we lost the simulation. Uh, in the final against Barcelona. So yeah, rightfully deserved Champions League winners. Guys, if you enjoy this video, please hit that like button. Let me know what you want to see next on FIFA. Got a bunch of videos planned soon though, so make sure you stay tuned for everything by subscribing to this channel. Take care. Lock on